Hello everyone, it's me, Rhea Peterson. How's it going? Today I am getting all of the cleaning and decluttering done along with a little bit of cooking. I have a few areas in my house that just need to be rearranged and cleaned up that I wanted to tackle today and I am also making a homemade bone broth. I know with the cold season coming up that I want to have lots of nutritious things in my house and bone broth is definitely one of those nutritionally dense things that are actually really, really easy to make. So that is how I am starting off my day. My oldest son is already at school. I need to take my two youngest to school here in a few minutes, but that's just enough time to get this bone broth going. If you are new here, I am so glad you're here. My name is Rhea Peterson. I upload multiple times a week covering things like cleaning, organization, mom life, and food, and I'm so glad you're here. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and let's go. So I'm just using a Costco rotisserie chicken. There are lots of different options of chickens that you could put in, but these are very affordable and it's still better than nothing at all. I am adding garlic, onion. I'm using both yellow and red onion. I love red onion. It is really rich in antioxidants and minerals, and I just really love adding it to most like soups and things like that. But one of the great things about bone broth is it's really great for like your joints and like collagen production and things like that but it's also really high in electrolytes so when you are sick you are much more easily able to replenish the water that you lose when you're like dehydrated and things like that so it's a really nice thing to have around especially when you have like a lack of appetite which is typically what happens to me when I'm sick or I just crave things that are not nutritionally beneficial at all so it's nice to have the bone broth around to help with that I added just a few different types of herbs, rosemary, parsley, thyme. I'm putting in some apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper, and then just pouring enough water in to cover everything. I decided to do this in my Instant Pot. You could do it on a pot on the stove, but I liked the convenience of the Instant Pot because I could kind of set it and forget it, and leaving stuff on the stove just makes me a little bit nervous. So. I am using the Instant Pot, I'm doing it on low, setting it for about three hours, and it is going to make the most delicious bone broth you have ever tasted. Well, I've ever tasted. I really like it. Okay, so I just dropped Alice off at school and there are a couple of things that I wanna get done and I'm gonna finish loading the dishwasher. Um, and then I know I just organized my kitchen a couple of months ago, but I need to just move some things around. My kids need some better access to stuff. So I'm gonna attempt to reorganize and get rid of a few more things. And then I have a bunch of other stuff I want to do, but we're going to make it to there.
that the kitchen is tidied up, I'm going to tackle the few areas that I wanted to declutter and reorganize. I didn't touch this cabinet the last time that I did my kitchen and I knew that there were some things in there that I was probably going to get rid of. So this one didn't take very long. It was mostly just figuring out how I wanted to reorganize it. I'll talk about it a little bit more, but I've been kind of phasing out anything with a non-stick surface unless it's like a green pan or something that has just kind of better ingredients. I don't want Teflons or PFAAs or anything like that to cook on. So I've been slowly changing things out and bringing in cast iron, coated enameled cast iron, like ceramic and then stainless steel. So it's just been kind of a slow process of bringing in pieces and replacing things as I go, like as we can afford it. Uh, and with my kids in school, they are packing their lunches more. They are just way more independent that they, than they used to be. So I want to move things down where they can better reach it so they're not climbing on chairs all of the time and they don't need to ask for help constantly if they can't reach something or they don't know where something is. So that is why I'm reorganizing everything. I was keeping my cast iron skillet in here. I need more drawer liners but I didn't have any, so it's fine. I'm putting the stainless steel in, so hopefully the cabinets won't continue to get stained. What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. probably remember this cupboard if you watched my last kitchen reorganize and declutter. I still love this cupboard, but my kids can't reach their water bottles or their lunch bags, so I'm moving all of that down, but we're still going to keep our water bottles up here and a couple of other things. So now it's kind of split, but everything is just much more accessible for my kids, and Connor and I can get to some of our other favorite water bottles as well. I know this seems excessive, but I've said in the past, we use different water bottles for different things, and I actually find that I will drink more water Water when I switch up my water bottles so I do like to keep a good selection around of ones that I really like so that I can make sure that I'm staying hydrated we come alive. We come alive. okay so update here is everything I'm getting rid of I was holding on to these stainless steel ones because they came in a set and it felt weird to get rid of some, but not the whole set, but I'm gonna get rid of some and not the whole set. And also I have gotten rid of anything that might have like PFAs or Teflon or anything on it. So I those have just been sitting in there for a while. Um, and I originally went from this to the stainless steel, but now I'm working in the cast iron and ceramic. So that's what I'm getting rid of and those bread pans I've had for an eternity that I replaced ages ago. Here's this cover. This used to have my enameled cast iron, but now it has like 
almost all, yeah, all of my stainless steel. I debated on keeping this guy in the back, but I do use it, so I kept it. I don't use it that often though, so we'll see. I'm gonna give it another like six months, and if I haven't used it then, I'll probably get rid of it. Here is this cupboard. I just got these at Costco. I don't know if they even have them anymore, but I grabbed them the second I saw them because I figured they would go really fast. They're Tramontina. They're two sizes. It came in a two pack and they were like $60. But I have really loved that green number Tramontina back there. And so when I saw these at Costco, I grabbed them. They had white and they had red. Um, and today is September 14th. So I got these a week ago um, as of today. Uh, these, I use these every day. These are green pan, which are a good quality pan. They don't have the extra chemicals or anything for the nonstick. I bought these, it was an investment. <laughs> I need to take better care of them. I haven't done a good cleaning of them in a while, but uh, I use, especially this little guy, I use it almost daily. So that, that stayed in here. And then my big lodge pot, um, my two big cast irons and my strainers. And then over here was the main reason why I even did this. I just put, the griddle that I normally kept down on the bottom here, I put it in this drawer with my other pans. It's just down below there. And then I moved pretty much everybody that was up here, down here. And I just have the glass um, pie shells. I know this seems like a lot, but I use them a lot come holidays so those live there and then i moved all the metal stuff over here i'm again gonna see kind of watch for the next year what or six months what do i use what don't i use around this time of year is like connor's birthday and christmas and we make cheesecake so i need the spring for him but otherwise i don't use it that often i don't think i need this many I'm gonna hold on to them for another six months or so, just to see. And then cake pans, my cooling racks, and the two bread pan types that I have. And then the whole reason I did this was to make this stuff more accessible for my kids. They can get up there and get their stuff out of the cupboard, but I don't really want them climbing up that high. Uh, so I just moved them down and now it's like this. I need to get some drawer liners. I always need drawer liners, but now they can get all of their lunch stuff and water bottles a lot more easily. And it will also save me time because I won't have to have a heart attack every time I turn around and see them climbing the walls. So I should have just done this in the first place, but at the time, I, everything was convenient for me because I was still kind of getting everything down. But now they are way more independent and so I needed to get it in a spot where they could get it. So we are adapting and changing as the kids grow, but I am happy with that. It's gonna take some adjusting. We're all gonna forget where everything is for a while, but I think it'll be nice. Okay, so never I've moved up upstairs. I need to tackle our closet. It is definitely a work in progress. There's a lot of like shelving and stuff that we need to do in here, but it's just not a priority. But I do want to organize a couple of things. And also it's time for the post-summer purge. I'm going to get rid of stuff that I know I didn't wear last year this time around and uh, just all the summer clothes that I can get rid of. So that is what is happening. I've got like an hour until I need to go get Alice. So I'm gonna see what I can get done in here. And then there's still a couple of other things that I want to get done today, but we're just doing this one thing at a time. So, closet is next. I would 
love to get a nice closet system in here at some point, but it is just like the bottom of the list. When Connor and I first got married, it was cheaper to buy those cubbies for our clothes at Target than it was to get a dresser. So we just got the cubbies and those cubbies are the exact cubbies we bought 14 years ago when we got married to put our clothes in and it, it still works. We do have a dresser in our bedroom. It's the one that we painted for Hugo when he was a baby and it just ended up there when we moved into this house. And I'd like to paint it and do something cool to it. But again, it's just kind of at the bottom of the list right now. But I do have some ideas, which I feel like I say a lot, but I have a hard time with execution sometimes and decision paralysis but oh well. I was excited to do the closet purge every end of like at the end of every season. I will usually go through all of my clothes and pull out things that I didn't wear. I used to hold on to everything, especially when I was still having babies, just because you never know what size you're going to be, what your style is going to be. But now since we're done having kids and I feel like my style, like I found my style a bit more. I've been getting rid of more and more things. My size has kind of reached more of a stable point. So there's like things that I just don't need anymore. And I like getting rid of things before like major holiday seasons or major shifts in the weather so that they can be donated and available for people who might be looking for it, which always kind of motivates me to get rid of stuff thinking about others and what they might be looking for. I know when I've gone thrifting, I found stuff and been really, really excited. So it's fun to think about somebody maybe being excited about something that I got rid of. Um, I did not get rid of very much of my active wear. I am a personal trainer. I exercise a lot and I go through a lot of different outfits, especially when I was like teaching classes or seeing clients, I would change a lot because I didn't want to visit someone, you know, smelling terrible. So that's the one thing that I do have a hard time parting with is active wear, but I did manage to find some pieces that I've had for years and years that I haven't worn that are too big or too tattered. So I was able to thin the active wear out a little bit. But now I'm just going to go through my winter summer bin, pull out the shorts that I never wore and clean up my sweaters and then move on to my shoes, which is a whole other mountain to climb. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? We got this shoe thing for free. It was sent to us on accident because I'd ordered something else and we got the wrong thing and they let us keep it. I think it was the container store. I don't remember, but I just haven't, Connor put it up on top of the shelf and I hadn't used it yet, but I was excited to finally have that done. I used to wear heels all the time, but I've switched to sneakers more often, but I did want to keep a couple of them. I kept more than I thought I would, but I did get rid of a few pairs of high heels but it feels really good to have all of those off the top they were really really dusty so it's nice to have them in those little enclosures so they don't get really really dusty i did not touch the other shoes very much i still need to tackle my flats but i just couldn't be bothered i had to go pick up alice so after i got alice i came back got her a snack and got her settled and now i'm cleaning up the mudroom which always ends up being a disaster on like a weekly basis i'm trying to get my kids to like hang up their stuff more but a lot of the times it's just really chaotic get back to school or like home from school time so it gets really really messy and i'm a culprit too i had like a hundred purses down there and they're full of like garbage and random things so i'm going to clean out all the bags get everything nice and organized and then clean off all the surfaces together if i could stop the time don't you know that i would because i'm just loving this moment can we stay here forever
feels really good to have the mudroom tidied up and the boys did a pretty good job putting their stuff away when they got home so it still actually looks pretty good but once I finished that I realized the bone broth was done it had to sit for 30 minutes after it initially finished to kind of natural release but now I'm letting out all the rest of the air and I'm going to drain it oh, look at it's gorgeous I opted to leave the skin in with it. I don't mind the additional fat and it adds a lot of flavor, um, but you don't have to leave the fat on. And by the time it solidifies in the refrigerator, you can also just scoop it off if you want to. But I think it just kind of adds a depth of flavor and a creaminess, especially in these cold months that are coming up. But it is the most beautiful amber color. It smells so good. <laughs> and I was so excited to get it all portioned out into the jars. So I did let it sit and cool for a while and I actually took a nap, which was amazing. It was a really good nap. So all in all, this has been a really good and productive day. I am just getting the jars portioned out, but other than that, that is everything that I have for you. I so appreciate you being here, and if you've made it this far, thank you so much. I have a lot of other fall things coming up, some more fall recipes, some DIY crafts, and Halloween decorations soon. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any fall fun, and I will see you next time. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,